Want to speak real Hungarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at HungarianPod101.com. Szia, which means hello. Szia. But if I say it to all of the viewers, then I would say Sziasztok. And this is an informal way of greeting people. So please use it with someone who is the same age as you or younger than you. You can use it with uh, uh, people who are older than you or in more high position, just in case they allow you to use this informal way. They usually say that, yeah, you can, you can greet me like this or you can call me like that. And then it's a green light for saying see ya. If you address more than one person, you should say see ya stock. So this is how you greet a group of people. You would get good morning. This is what you say in the morning. It's usually used in Hungary from early morning until around 11 a.m. And it literally means good morning. Jó means good and reggel means morning. Jó napot. Good afternoon. You use this after you reggel, so from around um, 11 a.m. This also literally means good day. Jó means good and nap means day. Don't use it with uh, kids because it would sound a little bit weird. But yeah, in general, in general you can use it with uh, strangers, just greet them. Jó napot, good afternoon, and yeah, jó éjszakát, good night. This is what you say before going to sleep or when you part with someone in the evening and you won't meet again until the next day. So jó means good and éjszaka means night. So jó éjszakát means good night. Mi a neved? What's your name? Mi a neved is an informal way to ask someone's name. If you would like to be more formal, please use Mi a neve? Én Léna vagyok. I'm Léna. This is how you introduce yourself. So you have to use Én, which means I, I am, and then say your name, and then vagyok, which is to be in Hungarian. So Én Léna vagyok. I'm Léna. You know, you can use it either in a formal or an informal situation. Örvendek. Nice to meet you. You use örvendek, nice to meet you, in a more formal situation. When you just greet friends or friends of your friends, you don't necessarily need to say this. Otherwise, you'll sound a little bit formal, but it's not totally wrong, it's just you wouldn't sound as friendly. Hogy vagy? How are you? This is an informal way to ask this question and if you would like to be more formal, please use Hogy van? So informal is Hogy vagy? And then a more formal is Hogy van? Köszönöm jól! És te? I'm fine, thank you. And you? This is how you respond when someone asks you how are you in Hungarian? Hogy vagy? So let's see a situation. Hogy vagy? Köszönöm jól! És te? Kérem! Please. This can be used um, either at the beginning of the sentence or what you want to say or at the end. For example, Kérem hozzon egy menüt. Please bring me a menu, or you can use it as Ne tegye oda a táskáját, kérem. Don't put your bag there, please. Jó képű vagy. You're handsome. Say this compliment to men, because uh, we use this word jó képű uh, towards men. Yes. Okos vagy. You're smart. You can use this with everyone. Te egy fantasztikus barát vagy. You're an awesome friend. 
Please use this compliment to your friends. They will be very happy. Nagyon jó ötlet. Very nice idea. I usually use it when um, I'm with my friends and they suggest something fun to do and then I want to express how happy I am about it and then I just say Nagyon jó ötlet. Let's go to the zoo! Menjünk az állatkertbe! Very nice idea! Nagyon jó ötlet! Az önéletrajza lenyűgöző. Your resume is impressive. This is really nice to hear when you are in a job interview or when you get the result. And um, as an employer, I would be happy to say it to the person. Yes, nagyszerű munka. Great job. I like using this compliment in regular daily life. Yeah, I like complimenting people. So I think this is something that what I like to use to show my appreciation towards other people. So, Hungarian pod students, great job. Nagyszerű munka. Jól áll rajtad az a jacket. That jacket looks nice on you. Say this when you are going shopping with your friend and um, they ask your opinion about an item, a jacket that they want to buy. And if you think that it fits them and looks good on them, use this compliment. Also, you can use this when you meet someone and you think that their jacket looks awesome. You can use this in both situations. You is lésed van. You have a good taste. I am happy when I hear this as a compliment. Szép a mosolyod. Your smile is beautiful. This is a very nice compliment and it makes people happy. So smiling is always good. And I think every smiley face is beautiful in a way. Definitely, because it shows happiness and it brightens up the person's face and emotions and everything. So I like this compliment and I like saying this compliment. Gyönyörűen nézel ki. You look gorgeous. Use this compliment if you would like to um, compliment on someone's look in Hungarian in a more on the top way. So stronger than just you look great today. So if you say gyönyörűen nézel ki, it's an extra. That person is amazed about how you look. Uh, in Hungary, it's more common to say to women. So use it with women. Köszönöm, de igazság szerint nem ez az anyanyelvem. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. If you are super fluent in the language and then people comment or even think that you are from that country and then you say that, then people are going to be really surprised. Mindössze egy évbe telt, hogy megtanuljak folyékonyan beszélni. It took me only one year to become fluent. When people ask you how long have you been studying the language and then you say it took you just a year to become fluent, then it's definitely impressive. Három éven belül anyanyelvi szinten fogok magyarul beszélni. I'll speak Hungarian like a native speaker in three years. Please challenge yourself and let us know if it worked out. I'm really curious how long it took for our viewers to get in, not only into native level, but like just conversational level. Try it. Tíz éve tanulok magyarul. I've been learning Hungarian for 10 years. How about you? How long have you been studying Hungarian? Please let us know in the comment section. Magyar filmeket felirat nélkül is tudok nézni. I can watch Hungarian movies without subtitles. To be able to watch Hungarian movies without subtitles, I think you have to be pretty much on a native speaker level. Depends on the movie too, but uh, sometimes you hear slangs or regional 
uh, language, then that could be a little bit difficult to understand. I think it's a good challenge to try how fluent you are to watch a movie without the subtitles and then, for example, have a discussion with your friends about the movie afterwards. That could be a really good practice. Want to speak real Hungarian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at HungarianPod101.com. Salonna. Salonna. Bacon. A kedvencem a füstölt salonna. A kedvencem a füstölt salonna. Smoked bacon is my favorite. We have various kinds of bacon. You can get very nice ones with garlic taste, smoked one as well, and covered with paprika powder. So I really like most of them. Do you like bacon? How about in your country? Do you have various kinds of bacon? Let us know in the comment section. Magyar barátokkal beszélget to chat with Hungarian friends. Sokkal érdekesebb a magyar nyelvet használni, ha magyar barátokkal beszélgetsz. Sokkal érdekesebb a magyar nyelvet használni, ha magyar barátokkal beszélgetsz. It's much more interesting to use the Hungarian language when you chat with Hungarian friends. Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Would you like to hang out with me? This is quite a casual question in Hungarian. The nuance is quite casual, so it's not referring to any romantic um, date suggestion. So it's just like you can say it to your buddies, like, would you like to hang out with me? Szeretnél együtt lógni velem? Yeah, you can use it that way, but at the same time, again, if you're not sure if the other person whom you like uh, likes you back the same way, but you just, you know, want to spend time with the person, feel free to ask this question. It's safe. Megtanul magyar ételt főzni. To learn to cook Hungarian food. A német ismerősöm nemrég megtanult magyar ételt főzni. My German friend recently learned to cook Hungarian food. Pálmafa, palm tree. Pálmafák sorakoznak az út mentén. There are palm trees along the road. Iskola, school. Az iskola nincs messze a házunktól. The school isn't far from our house. Gesztenye, chestnut. Süssünk gesztenyét holnap. Let's bake chestnuts tomorrow. Chestnuts are so good especially in autumn. I really like baking them, but yeah, it's kind of hard to find chestnuts recently. I used to buy them in Hungary in the market, and then you have to soak it in water first because the, the shell softens up a little bit, so you can make a small cut on it with a knife so that when you bake it, it's going to crack, and then you can eat it easily. Yeah, that's a trick. Life advices from Lena. Egy repülőjegy Magyarországra. An airplane ticket to Hungary. Vettem egy repülőjegyet Magyarországra. I bought an airplane ticket to Hungary. The price varies based on <clears throat> when you're traveling or from where you're traveling. Within Europe, it's pretty easy because they have those cheaper air companies, so you can get it pretty cheap. But if you are traveling from a more uh, far destination, then I would recommend going around February or even around July. I was surprised when I found out that the airplane ticket prices weren't that bad in July because I thought that it's summertime, so everybody's traveling and it's going to be super expensive, but it really wasn't. I would be so happy to receive it as a present. Yeah, this can be useful when you prepare that three minutes introductory, <laughs> introductory speech for your friends. For example, you can talk about uh, your, 
Yes, I remember when I was learning language, it was one of the homeworks that you had to write about your the not daily routine but like weekly routine so you were talking about what you did at the beginning of the week and what you're doing right now and what you're planning to do during the weekend so such compositions could be something what helps you to learn about or write about past present and future events hogy csak a vendégem voltál. Don't worry about it. You were my guest. Again, it's something very nice to hear from someone. Köszönöm. Thank you. This is a very common way to say thank you. There are different levels to say thank you. So you can add an extra word in front or at the end or both ways. So for instance, Nagyon köszönöm means thank you very much. Szeret, to love. Szeretem a csokoládét. I love chocolate. Igen, yes. Szereted a macskákat? Do you like cats? Igen, yes. Tisztel, to respect. Tisztelem azokat, akiktől tanulok valamit. I respect those from whom I can learn something. Okay. Okay. This word comes from English. Probably it's easier for Hungarian speakers to pronounce it that way. So we just say a sound E at the end. So it sounds okay instead of okay. Hosnál, to use. Milyen okos telefont használsz? What kind of smartphone do you use? Bocsánat. I'm sorry. Um, when you say bocsánat, it's more like you mean it more. So please use it when you are sorry for something that you that you've done a mistake or you hurt somebody. Or um, you can use it as well when you're walking down the street and you step on someone's feet, then you can say bocsánat as well. Kimegy, to go out. Kimegyek a parkba sétálni. I go out to the park for a walk. Do you like walking? Mere van a mosdó? Where is the restroom? This is a very, very useful phrase. So... Mere van a mosdó? When you are looking for the restroom, obviously. So, um, yeah, if you're in a situation that you need to go, just pop this question out and you will know. Dolgozik. To work. A szobatársam kórházban dolgozik. My roommate works at the hospital. Ez mennyibe kerül? How much is this? You can use this question at the store when you are not sure about the price and there is no price tag. Just ask the shop assistant. Ez mennyibe kerül? Érez. To feel. Remekül érzem magam. I feel great. Nem tudom. I don't know. If you really don't I don't know. know. I don't know what to say. Nem tudom mit mondjak. <laughs> Hogy to leave. A rendőrök elhagyták a helyszínt. Policemen left the scene. Viszontlátásra. Goodbye. Um, if you want to be less formal, you can say vislát, but it's still in the formal group. If you want to say bye to your friends, just say hello or see ya. It works both ways, so it's pretty convenient. That's how you say bye to your friends, or you say viszontlátásra, or viszlát, to someone that you don't know. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.